Big changes are coming to the residential HVAC market starting January 1st with the phase down of R410A refrigerant. For homeowners, this means making important decisions about repairing or replacing old AC units, choices that could impact both costs and efficiency for years to come. Joining me live in Studio A this morning to help us understand these changes is our friend Joe Bainey, Director of Field Operations with John Moore Services. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much, hey, good morning. as always, for your yeah, time. Thanks for having us. Uh, let's start with the basics here. Okay. For people we just caught their attention. They're like, wait, what did he say? <laughs> what does this mean? So it's it's a government mandate that is, you know, working on the efficiency and the footprint that Freon has on our environment, trying to make the equipment better. And so the existing equipment that we've had and we've had for years um, is, is just being phased out. And so it's gonna be a little tricky for homeowners and for, you know, contractors, HVAC um, people like us at John Moore to, to deal with over the next couple of years. And so they're going to stop making, uh, and they've already stopped making in most, most cases, the 410A, the regular equipment that we all have now. And they begin production with the 454B, a new refrigerant. And to make things a little more confusing, there's also another one that's been approved, so it's an R32. And you're going to get to the spot in which an old system, mm -hmm. and it breaks down, it can be repaired, which means we can take some minor parts mm -hmm. in there, but we can't replace the replace, big yeah. piece of it. And, and in the past, we were able to replace just, you know, like the AC system and leave the furnace alone or replace the furnace, leave the AC mm -hmm. alone. With the new equipment, it's going to be a complete replacement. Yeah. So the burden that's going to fall on homeowners is going to be pretty big as we move past this into the new equipment. When you talk about that new equipment uh, being in place, for homeowners wondering, what is it that I have? What, what is my system currently? What is it on? What, what, where, right. where are we? How can they figure that out? Is there a, a threshold by years? What, how can they, how can so they get to the bottom of this? You should have the nameplate uh, on your condenser outside, mm -hmm. and it would be able to tell you on there. Now, a lot of times they get faded, yeah. um, but, but realistically, the majority of us now we're at 410A. Uh -huh. uh, there was an, another uh, Freon years ago, R22, which is was also, uh, you know, phased out and the majority of those units are gone. I mean, they're, they're old, they're 18, 20 plus years old now, right? So um, if you've done anything or your house is new, you're in a 410A situation um, and then the new stuff coming out and really will probably be uh, installed on a regular basis. You get to that February, March time because they've got a big stock. Most, most manufacturers do a 410A equipment. Mm -hmm, they can't mm -hmm. make it after January right. 1, but as long as they have it, they can still sell they it stock, and install yeah. it. And so if you want to get out ahead of it, you know, if you've had some major issues, you've replaced a furnace or you've replaced yeah. a condenser, let's go ahead and match the whole thing up new with 410A so you can get the lifespan out of it, not just having to buy a new system this next year because one piece fails. What could that lifespan be? It, 10 plus years, oh, wow. right? Yeah, 10 plus years. You take care of it, it can go even longer than that, right? And so equipment will last. It's it's the taking care of it. We talk about it all the time, yeah. right? Get ready for summer, get ready yeah. for winter. And that's where we're at right now. And if, if you don't know where you're at, call it, call, you know, call us, give us a call. We'll come out, we'll take a look at your at your heater to make sure you're good for the winter. And we can have that conversation about this is where you are and this is what it looks like. And, and maybe you're not ready for it right now, but if you know you've got to go get a whole new system, you can start to plan for it. And now is the time to plan for Now it. is the time to plan. Yeah, for folks looking for advice, what advice do you give to homeowners who want to prepare to update their, their systems now in these months before getting into this the spring summer months? Yeah, you just get a professional to your house, yeah. right? I mean, it, it, you know, it, a lot of us buy used homes here mm -hmm. and, and the furnaces don't get a lot of stress and a lot of strain on them. So you might have a an eight year old AC system and think everything's fine, but you've got a 20 year old furnace that's getting ready to go. Right. Well, that furnace goes, it's going to cause you to buy a whole new system, yeah. right? So get out in front of it right now because if you need to make a, a decision that buys you another five or ten years before you have to buy this whole complete system yeah. now's the time to be doing that and I know for a lot of folks it comes down to a budget right it Absolutely. comes down to the cost but if you're having these conversations with an expert on on what to do when to do it yep that can certainly save you a few extra dollars. Yeah. The, the other thing is too, you know, new equipment, manufacturers have to retool, which means the new equipment is going to be more expensive. The contractors have to get different tools, different install things. So everything with the new equipment is going to be more yeah. expensive than it would have been this last year. And if people are interested in connecting with you, sir, how can they go about doing so? Get, get hold of us on our website, johnmoreservices.com. You can book online, you can make a phone call. Um, 730-2525. Easy peasy. Joe, as always, we appreciate your time yeah, thank coming you. down in and joining us in studio.